Hello guys, welcome to another video on HTML5 and CSS3. In this video I'm going to talk about text shadows, gradients and transparency or uh, alpha values. So the first thing I want you guys to do is in the inside the div ID main in the paragraph, let's give this an ID. I'm going to show you how to create text shadows. Okay, I'm going to create a for this text here, I'm going to create a shadow for this. So we have to give an ID, and here you can type text. Let's save this. Let's go to style.css and let's grab the ID text. And in here, let's give it a font. Uh, let's give it bold and 30 pixels. And here, let's give uh, times new Roman. Let's save this. Let's check this out in Chrome. Oops, sorry. Okay, there it is. Uh, so I made uh, the text a little bit um, bigger for you to see clearer the text shadow working. Now let's go to style.css to make a text shadow, it's pretty simple. Just have to type text shadow RGB, pretty much as we did the box shadow. 110, let's give it the same 110 values. And that's pretty much it. And here, let's give it uh, 3 pixels here, 3 pixels and 3 pixels. And Let's run this in here. Just a second. Forgot to put here the semicolon. Let's save this. Let's refresh it. And there it is. Boom. Perfect. Okay. You see a perfect text shadow behind the text itself. Okay, perfect. Now, <clears throat> another cool feature is the gradients or the gradient. The gradient is basically I'm going to I'm going to do it first and you'll see you'll get pretty much the idea what the gradient is. Most of you guys already probably know what this is. And we use a lot these these uh gradients on um on the new websites and uh most uh most of the websites use this web designers use this kind of effect so <coughs> the first thing you have to do is go here take the orange out the background and here let's type webkit linear gradient and here uh, I'm gonna type three values where do you want the gradient to start either top or bottom left or right what color is uh, the start color the starting color and what will, will it turn to it will turn into white you'll see this will make more sense when you see now the result and there it is this is the gradients when it turns from a dark uh, color to a lighter color in this case black to white okay now you can use this um, you can use you can change uh, where do you want to start the dark either from the top from the bottom let's change this from the bottom or to the bottom and let's go here refresh uh, perfect or you can change it to the left okay or you could ch ch change it to the right sorry or you can also <coughs> use degrees you can use 45 degrees for example sorry uh, DEG you can use it this way and if you refresh there it is okay so <coughs> you can play a little bit more with this and this is how you can uh, turn your website with pretty cool effects. 
Another cool uh, gradient that you can use is the radial. So change the linear to radial, and here we're going to give uh, we're going to type center is where we want to start the gradient in circle, which is the form of the uh, radial. We want a circle in the middle, and now we type uh, the color red and a percentage, and also let's type orange and a percentage again. Now, what this percentage means is where uh, do you want uh, the red to be started f start fading? Okay, so but to make it more sense, let's just go here, refresh, and this is what uh, the gradient radial circle is. Pretty much, <coughs> we've created a circle in the middle, okay, and we've said uh, I want <coughs> the red to be fading to orange at 0% and orange at 50%. If you want to play with this a little bit more, just type, uh, let's say, a 10% and go here and refresh. You see that it gets more red, okay? So it, it, it will start getting uh, to orange uh, a little bit later, okay? You see? Perfect. But you can play this with a little bit more. You'll to get familiar with and um, this is basically uh, how you can uh, turn your uh, sections of your website with uh, with fine uh, little colors pretty colors and make your site more uh, presentable to the user with a lot of uh, cool features Now I want to talk to you about something else which is the alpha or the transparency that you can give to the um, to the box shadow. So we have here the box shadow and I want to give to the shadow a little bit more transparency that I have in here. Okay, you see it's a little bit dark. So to do that I just have to change this to RGB A. A stands for alpha and this has a fourth value uh, and it gets it's uh, a dot six or point six and this will make a transparency to the shadow you'll see that when I refresh you'll get a nice transparency all around uh, the box I can change this to either uh, nine okay or let's change this to three, a little less or a little more transparency. Okay, as you can see here, we almost can't see the the shadow. So you can play with uh, with that a little bit more as well. Get familiar with that as well. And if you have any questions at all, just send me your uh, send me a private message or uh, post your questions in the comment section below. Okay, guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye.